Hey everyone, you know the routine. My name is Nathan and welcome to Hale. This is a very impromptu video. I had no intentions of making a video on this topic tonight. However, I feel like it's important for me to share a few thoughts on the way the Oscars were handled this evening. I'm a fan of the Oscars. At least I'm a fan of supporting movies and watching the movies I love. The movies I watched in the previous year being nominated and receiving Oscars for their hard work and all the achievements that they accomplished. I've never been a fan of the political side of Oscars. I think that far too many times the Oscars uses the speech platform and just the whole event in general as a political statement. And that's not why I'm watching it. I'm watching it to be immersed in movies. And so tonight especially, I was very disappointed with the way they handled a certain award of the night. As you know, Anthony Hopkins won Best Actor in a Leading Role over the late Chadwick Boseman. This win is not upsetting at all to me, and let me explain why. From the moment I saw The Father, I was hoping that Anthony Hopkins would take the win. His performance is not only probably the best performance I've seen from Hopkins, but one of the best performances I've ever seen. I have seen Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and I definitely also have to tip my hat to Chadwick Boseman, because I've loved Chadwick Boseman since I saw him in 42 years ago. But the way the Academy treated this award tonight was messed up and unnecessary. And it adds to the list of reasons I just don't like the Academy Awards. I watch them because I wanna support the movies that I've loved to watch the past year, but I don't support nearly any part of them. I'm frustrated because if you were unaware, tonight they switched up the order in which they presented the awards. Every Academy Awards session that I've ever seen has always saved the best picture winner for the last honor of the night. This is the big highlight of the night. This is deciding what was the best movie of the year. They even do slots like best director and best actor and best actress before best picture because best picture is the big deal of the night. However, this year they switched things up. Instead of presenting best picture last, they presented it third to last and then presented best actress and best actor for last. So when they announced that they would be doing best picture, I was like, okay, this is new, this is definitely abnormal. And right away, my first thought was, oh, I bet they're doing this because Chadwick Boseman is going to win for best actor and they want some way to save the best for last, which I was completely for. I thought that, that was a great idea and I was like, okay, this makes sense. And in that moment, I totally accepted Bozeman for the win. And I was excited too. I was excited to hear his name and hear his family possibly give a speech for the life that he lived and for the amazing performance he gave in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. However, the Oscars played us dirty. What they did is they announced Best Picture, they announced Best Actress, they saved Best Actor for last. First off, they had Joaquin Phoenix present and Joaquin Phoenix is an amazing actor, don't get me wrong, but he is awkward as heck in real life. And that's another difference. They didn't have Renee Zellweger present and normally they have the best actors from the previous year present best actor and same vice versa. They had Joaquin Phoenix present, which was really weird. And on top of that, he was very fast. He presented it very fast. When he announced that Anthony Hopkins won the best actor in a leading role, I was shocked. I wasn't even excited. I should have been excited because that's who I thought deserved the Oscar and that's who I thought gave the best performance. But the Oscars led me to believe that Chadwick Boseman would win. And so suddenly I felt sad when I should have felt happy for Hopkins. I felt disappointed that Chadwick Boseman didn't win an Oscar and he had passed away. It was unfair almost. The Academy should not have presented the Oscars in this way. What they should have done is presented the Oscar winners in the same order as they usually do with Best Picture being the finale of the night. Instead, they announced Anthony Hopkins and Joaquin Phoenix did it very fastly, almost casually, and then the award show ended. Anthony Hopkins didn't even have a representative to give a speech for him. He wasn't even present at the award show. It was done very fast and very inappropriately in my opinion. Now, the reason I'm making this rant video, I guess you could say, is because now what I hate is that a performance that I loved so much and that meant a lot to me, honestly, is going to be overshadowed by the fact that Chadwick Boseman should have gotten the win for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom because it was his last Oscar nomination. Both performances were amazing. All five performances that were nominated were great this year. But because the Oscars highlighted Anthony Hopkins in this way, everyone will only remember that he won and he won so abruptly that it didn't even matter. His win didn't even matter, although it was one of the best performances I've ever seen. It almost feels like the Oscars purposely built our hopes up so that we would be angry at Hopkins winning. And so for Anthony Hopkins to actually win and Chadwick Boseman not to win, I was absolutely shocked and I couldn't even celebrate for Anthony Hopkins. For them to present the award last of the night and build our hopes up for Chadwick Boseman 
and then Chadwick Boseman doesn't win, they were just asking for the viewers to get mad. They wanted the viewers to have something to talk about. And in turn, where's the praise now for Anthony Hopkins and this amazing performance that he gave? Everything is going to be about how he shouldn't have won, how it should have gone to Chadwick Boseman. They should have said the best for last. And I don't think that it was handled professionally at all. I am a big movie goer. I mean, you can see part of my collection behind me. And if you follow this channel at all for any time in the past, you know that I love movies so much. And that's the biggest reason I support the Oscars. But when they pull moves like these, it makes me angry at them because I was excited for Chadwick Boseman. That last second, I was excited for his win and to see whatever might happen after that. But instead, Anthony Hopkins won. And me, a longtime supporter for Anthony Hopkins' performance, wasn't even excited. They made me feel guilty that I was rooting for Anthony Hopkins. The reason I'm making this video is because I want people to understand not to be angry at Anthony Hopkins. Be angry at the Academy Awards for setting the night up in the way that they did. Anthony Hopkins is not to blame. The voters are not to blame. I think what they should have done is have the best actor in a leading role Oscar in the normal spot of the night. And following that, that's when they should have continued on with the night and announced the best picture for the very last award of the night. When Anthony Hopkins won, they should have had some sort of representative at least accept the Oscar for him. Or has Anthony Hopkins zoom into the show? I know that there are time differences, but all night long we saw different people from Paris and from across the whole entire world tuning into the Oscars. So how hard was it for Anthony Hopkins to either attend or have someone represent him? In my opinion, the Oscars knew what they were doing. They wanted to start up a conversation. They wanted to get people mad. And that's exactly what has happened. They complain about people not viewing the Oscars. In fact, I saw a poll today on Twitter saying, are you watching the Oscars, yes or no? And more people said no than people said yes. It's because of stunts pulled like this that make people not want to watch the Oscars when they air. I don't understand why the Oscars continue to do things like this that are just going to make the viewers mad. Uh, no, I actually do understand. It's because they want people to get mad. They want people to be talking about the Oscars and the way they screwed up. But if we're talking about movies and we're honoring movies, why is this the agenda? Why are we trying to make movies popular by separating moviegoers and fans of movies? That's not the way to do it at all. The Oscars should be a show that people look forward to because they want to see the movies win. Now it's just a political show that's edited in certain ways to create an uproar. And that's exactly what's happening. The Oscars have gotten what they wished for, but at what cost? Gamora. I normally don't rant about these kind of things. I normally just kind of keep it to myself. But as someone who wanted to be happy for Anthony Hopkins, I was disappointed tonight. If it had just been presented in a normal way, I think it would have been fine. But because they got my hopes up for a Chadwick Boseman win, and I had accepted that, I was disappointed when I heard Anthony Hopkins. Although Anthony Hopkins is the one that I wanted to get the award since before the nominations were even announced. <sighs> I guess I'll just end this video with saying that all the nominations were very deserved for this award, the best actor in a leading role. However, the way the Oscars handled it was just not well done at all. I really don't have anything else to say. So I will see you in my next video. Um, thank you for watching.